What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict. Today, I'm going to share my top picks for the Friday main NBA playoff DraftKings slate, guys. All right, so if you stick around to the end of the video, guys, I got a special uh, surprise for you. All righty, so let's get into my top picks today, guys. So on the screen, here's my top picks. All righty, so up top, guys, at point guard, I like Victor Oladipo. He's going to be at home. All right, and if you look at the last game that they, they, they played, all righty, uh, they lost to uh, Cleveland by three points, all right, and he only played 28 minutes because he got in the foul trouble early, so he had to sit early uh, in the game. But he still got came in and put up 22 points, had six assists and a couple of steals, guys. So, all right, I like his chances. He's going to be at home. I expect him to show out. All righty, Victor Oladipo loves the big stage, guys. You know, he has a chip on his shoulder. Ever since he left OKC, man, he has something to prove. And plus, his price went down $200, guys. All right? I like Victor Oladipo. As you can see, he can put up 56, 40, or he can put you up 36, man. But I like his chances at home versus Cleveland. All righty? Lock him in. All right? Next up, guys, a value play that I like. Uh, this guy hit the line right. I played him last time I played NBA, guys, and he did well for me. As you see, he put up 32 DraftKings points when I played him. All right, and then this last game here, he put up 27, guys. Again, look at him. He's averaging three steals a game. Jesus, Washington, stop turning the ball over. But um, anywho, that's good for us as far as uh, draft kings go, right, because you get an extra bonus for the steals, right? So I like DeLon, right? He's playing heavy minutes, 25 to 27 minutes, and he's getting production, guys, all right? This guy's getting assists, blocks, steals, and points. So he does a little bit of everything, man. He's stuffing the stat sheet. So... Again, I like DeLon Wright, guys, at 4.5K. It's a nice value play. All right, we got Boston going to Milwaukee, guys. All righty. And so uh, let me check those standings. And Boston is leading 2-0. And uh, Milwaukee needs to win this game. All righty, so I'm expecting them to come out and play hard, right? But I like this guy, Jalen Brown. Again, he's playing heavy minutes, 33 and 46. This was a blowout, so he didn't play that much. But if the game stays close and competitive, which I expect it to, because, again, Milwaukee needs this win at home. All right, I like the ch his chances of putting up 35-plus DraftKings points, all right, which is great for a guy that's 6.5K. All right, so lock in Jalen Brown. Again, if this game is close, he should play heavy minutes, guys. And so next up is Ibaka. All right, I like Serge Ibaka. Again, ever since the playoffs have started, this guy showed up and showed out, guys. So as you can see, he's playing around 30-plus minutes a game, putting up double-digit shots. All right, a couple three-pointers as well he's he's attempting, and he's getting rebounds, and he's putting up double-digit points. So this guy should be uh, uh, good for a double-double, guys, So which is about 35 DraftKings points or higher. So I like the chances of that happening. All right, again, Washington. All right. I believe it's one to one for the series, if I remember correctly. Oh, no. Two. Oh. So Washington needs to win. Again, expected to be a competitive game. And I'm locking in my boy Ibaka. All right. And last but not least, guys, another value play, quote unquote. All right. John Henson is playing heavy minutes since the playoffs started, 37 37, right? So you can see he's getting rebounds and he's getting, getting a few points in, guys, and a couple blocks. Oh, my God. He has six blocks. Whew. All right, guys. So. But he also had three turnovers. That's terrible. But uh, this guy's only 4.9K, guys, and he has the chance to put up around 25 to 30 DraftKings points, guys, which is 5X value, guys, and that's something that you know. That's nice. And if he happens to go off and, and put up 39 or 40 because he gets a couple extra points or a couple extra rebounds, guys, hey, that could be uh, the difference maker for you. So these are my top five plays, guys. And so, all right, with this these plays, you have $6,400 left over, guys. So, you know, if you want to fit in a Giannis at home in a must-win game, you know, you can throw him in there. You still got 4,300 left. Or if you want to pay down and get a DeRozan or a uh, uh, or a Horford or someone, or even Middleton, that's something that you can do. All right, me personally, I like John Wall at home. All right, and again, in a must-win uh, game. So that means he's going to have the ball in his hand. He's going to be playing heavy. He's only 9.3K, but yet this guy can put up 60 points just like uh, a LeBron or a uh, ABC uh, Giannis can do so me personally I like John Wall guys and that leaves you five thousand dollars to pick your last two spots guys which you should be able to find somebody in that price range all right so that's my top picks guys so all right we talked about a nice little low surprise for you at the end of the 
at the beginning of the video. So Draft Dashboard is the app that I use, guys. In the description of this video will be a link to a seven-day trial for one bucks, guys. Give it a try out because uh, this is what I do. I just go in here and click on the top players, you know, position optimizer. All right, and I just go to point guard for, per se, and I click on point guard. Then I sort it by the dash rank right here, guys, all right? And once I do that, as you can see, Victor Oladipo is at the top. All right, his usage is, is around 30. You see the last couple of games, 34 and 42%. So his, he's the one that has the ball in his hand, and he's making things happen. All right, same thing if I go to my shooting guard, and I sort it by the dash rank. All right, as you see, Victor Oladipo is at the top, and Brown is second. So that's why I got Jalen Brown in my lineup, guys. And so that's pretty much my process, guys. I love Draft Dashboard because it makes – DFS's decisions easy because it puts all the pertinent information on the screen, guys. So his last couple of games right here, if he's hot or if he's cold, his fantasy points per game for the last three games, his minutes per game for the last three games, and his usage for the last three games. And NBA guys, usage is very important, guys, unless it's like a rebound or somebody. But when it comes to scoring, assisting the ball, and things of that nature, usage is key. So, you know, you want players who are going to be in the game and, and going to be actually doing something while on the floor. Because who's ever played Tony Snell before and he played 35 minutes and put up like 10 DraftKings points? That's not the guy you want. All right, you want a guy like this, like Jalen Brown has a 34% usage, okay? All right, guys, but that's all I have for you today, guys. Good luck. You know, if you love DFS like me, smash the subscribe button, guys, all righty? Because I'm going to be bringing you my top picks for um, for DraftKings, guys. And uh, also, in the comments, guys, leave me a comment, please. Tell me what is your favorite sport for dfs is it nascar is it mma is it esports you know is it uh, you know is it MB, MB, mlb you know share your uh your likes in the comments guys let me know what, what uh sports you guys are into so good luck on tomorrow's nba slate guys and i'll holler at you in the next video